In our previous video, we discussed how to set up Tal Pro and establish a connection to QuickBooks. Now, we will discuss how to synchronize names, as well as link accounts between time slips in QuickBooks. First, let's navigate to the Synchronize Names option by going to Accounting in the main menu and choosing Synchronize Names with QuickBooks. You should receive a pop-up that asks you if you wish to sync names. We are going to choose Yes. Since this is the first time we are syncing, TalPro is going to tell us that it has found Timeslips clients that are not linked to the QuickBooks database. Here, we can choose to match the Timeslips client to an existing customer. Add the client to QuickBooks, ignore this client, or skip this client. We are going to choose Match for this client. As you can see, there is a QuickBooks customer that is similar to our Timeslips client, so we will choose this customer. Next, we see that we have a few options on how to handle the client customer information. We can choose to do nothing, copy information from Timeslips to QuickBooks, or for QuickBooks to copy information to Timeslips. For now, we will choose to copy Timeslips information. Next, we have a client in Timeslips that does not exist in QuickBooks. We are going to choose to add this client. Now we have come across a client that we do not want to go over to QuickBooks. Let's choose to ignore this client. Sometimes we may encounter a client that we are not sure of what to do with. In these cases, we can skip this client for now, and the next time we perform a sync, we will be prompted again on how to handle this client. For the rest of the clients, let's just add them all to our QuickBooks database. Now, TalPro is asking us how we would like to handle the QuickBooks customers that are not linked to any specific Timeslips clients. As you can see, we have the same options here that we had when dealing with Timeslips clients. Since none of these QuickBooks customers exist or have matches in our Timeslips database, we are going to choose Add All. The adding all process may take a few minutes. Unfortunately, QuickBooks allows longer names than Timeslips allows. In these cases, TalPro will prompt you to ask you how you would like to handle these names by truncating. We will choose Truncate All for the sake of time. Once TalPro is finished, you can review what TalPro has done by scrolling through the log on this dialog, and when you are done, click OK. Let's navigate to the Manage Name Link area by going to Accounting, Manage Name Links, Clients. In this dialog, TalPro lets us manage all of our name links. Here, we can unlink and relink clients and customers, clear clients from ignore statuses, as well as add any new time slips clients to QuickBooks or QuickBooks customers to time slips using their respective buttons. After setting up the link between time slips and QuickBooks, you should also link the QuickBooks accounts that will receive time slips transactions. We will need to set up account links before we can post to QuickBooks. Let's navigate to the Account Links dialog by going to Accounting, Account Links Setup. On this dialog, we have two sides. One side displays Timeslips accounts, and the other side contains QuickBooks accounts. Use this dialog box to link QuickBooks accounts to Timeslips accounts. In this example, we will only link accounts to required Timeslips accounts, which also appear in red. Please check with your accountant to be sure of which accounts you should link. Now that TalPro is set up, synced, and linked, you should be able to generate bills and time slips and post transactions to QuickBooks. 
we will discuss posting and verifying GL account information in another video.